I wanted to do a uh, quick uh, video and a review on this new Kodak PlaySport 1080p HD waterproof camera that I just picked up today. Um, this is a waterproof camera. It is good down to 10 feet or 3 meters. It does shoot uh, 1080p high quality, high definition video. Um, and it's very well built seeing it as a waterproof camera. This thing is bolted together like a tank uh, as digital cameras go. Uh, very good screen on it. It's about a two inch screen. Very good uh, uh, image quality on the screen. You can see exactly what you're shooting. Uh, the camera is sealed up very well. Uh, and the hatches are spring loaded on this camera. So when you pop you open a hatch, it pops open. You, know, you don't have to sit there and pry with it and mess around with it at all. Uh, on the right side you have your video ports for uploading videos and on the left you have your battery port and of course that hatch is also spring loaded. This is a replaceable rechargeable battery. It is a KLIC-7004 battery and as we all know with built-in batteries once the battery is gone the camera is gone. It's going to cost more to send it back to the manufacturer and have them replace the battery than it is just to buy a new camera. So that does not help out with you uh, with your expenses at all when uh, filming. Uh, extra batteries are pretty cheap if you want to carry backups. They last a while, you know, long enough for you to get home and charge it up again. Uh, the buttons on this are set up very intuitively. Uh, I've shot some of the uh, older EIS cameras, and a lot of the times a play you know, button and the, and the shooting button is right in the center. This one is uh, situated off to the right just a little bit, and allows you to get a better hold on the camera, better feel, uh, you, you know, a safer feel on the camera, like it's not going to fall out of your hands or slip out of your hand. Um, and then all your functions, uh, other functions are right there, kind of in a semicircular kind of formation. You have your camera, your playback, garbage, and your other functions in case you're in different lighting situations and you need to change things up a little bit. Um, on the other side, on the front, the lens is situated to the right instead of to the left. Now, as with some of the other EIS cameras, the lens is off to the left. This may not make a difference to some people, but it did to me, seeing the power button is also in the same spot. And when I would go to turn on the power button, I would sometimes touch the lens cover. And uh, oil, fingerprints, anything like that on your lens cover is not going to help image quality at all. So it's a very nice uh, situation that they uh, put this lens in onto the right side of the camera. It helps me a lot. The power button um, on this is very bright. I'm going to turn the light off on this camera so you can see it shine when I turn it on. You have absolutely no question anywhere in your mind that that power button has been hit. Very bright. Uh, total boot up time for this camera is two seconds. Two seconds flat. I've timed this out over and over again. It's going to take you longer to get it out of your pocket and uh, then it's going to be uh, to boot it up and get it ready to shoot. Very quick. Um, if you're looking for a good quality camera, good waterproof digital camera, um, something that's going to last, something you can change batteries in, uh, and a good price point, I don't think you're going to do better than this. Uh, I'm very impressed with this camera. Like I said, it's now my primary camera. Uh, I bought it as a backup. That's changed completely. I'm very, very impressed with this camera today. Took it out shooting, and I really like the way it feels. I like the playback. I like the video I get out of it, um, and I like the waterproof feature. Uh, if you're looking for one, the Kodak PlaySport 1080p HD is a good way to go. Thanks for watching.